don't know if you can actually see them flying. I can't zoom. Damn. Those are the cicadas. There goes another one right there. I am putting myself out here in the middle of this. Oh, I, I don't even know what to call it. This disgusting invasion of insects. Just to get video for my blog. It's like I'm a journalist in a war zone. Alright, well, that's not really fair. They do a lot more than I do. But this, this is disgusting, you have to admit. Can you hear that sound? Seriously, you have to know that that sound can be heard inside of Mr. SUV with his windows up, the air conditioning on, the highest level, and Metallica blasting. I kid you not. I can hear these things over over all of that. I, I swear to God, it's disgusting. All right. By the way, just so you know, I'm not at home. I'm at my mother-in-law's backyard, two miles away from my house. So this is what it could have been like at my house. And this is what my father-in-law thinks is fun. Yeah, in case you can't tell, that is a bucket full of cicadas crawling all over each other. For some ungodly known reason, he's collecting them, and I don't know why. Now, this is the cool part. This is all the holes that these little freaks came out of two or three weeks ago. You can see some on the ground. Some are dead, some are alive, whatever. But these are all the holes that they have emerged from. And probably what they're going to go back to. Oh, and I took a picture of it, but let's go back over here so you can get a live shot. This is two cicadas stuck together because they're basically screwing each other. They mate. This is what they do. They emerge from the ground. They come out. They shed their skin so the shells are left on the trees. Then they mate. The females go back up into the trees and cut slits in the twigs and the branches, and that's where they lay their eggs. And as soon as the eggs hatch, after a few days, the babies go back down underground for 17 more years. And so in 17 years from now, people will be seeing this again and hearing this again. Every area around me has the cicadas, except my neighborhood. Everywhere I drive at night, everywhere I go, you can hear them. But as soon as you enter my neighborhood and my block, there's nothing. So you don't have to believe in God to think that that's a freaking miracle because I sure as hell do. All right, my battery's running low. I'll leave you with this shot of the beautiful cicadas in the bucket. Ah, peace out.